The final day of Rally Islas Canarias and Luis Monzon's remarkable bid for a fourth victory remained on track until the second stage of the final leg. Spotting a nail in the tyre moments before stage nine, a puncture followed. In the blink of an eye, Monzon's mighty run was done. It was proving an eventful start to the final leg, Grigor Zhib coming unstuck at the first corner of the Arrakis test. A strange incident, but the damaged left rear suspension indicated what could have caused the roll. Simone Campadelli's hopes of progressing after day one dramas were hampered by another brief brush with a roadside barrier. Again, he seemed to escape unscathed, but the boots popping open added a bit of unwanted extra downforce. With Monzon out of action, it would fall to Enrique Cruz to fly the flag for the Canary Islanders. Another stage win at the end of the morning saw the Ford Fiesta driver close to within 20 seconds of the leader. Efren Lorena was back up to speed as well. Last year's ERC runner-up taking another couple of stage wins to put himself back in the mix and was just seven tenths of a second behind the runner-up spot going into the end of event power stage. Johan Bernato was a sole Frenchman in a sea of Spaniards and after holding on to second for much of the event in an incredible finish in the final test, the Citroen driver ended on the identical overall time to Lorena, only conceding second by a countback tiebreak regulation. The main benefit of the former leader's misfortune was Neil Solans, who'd inherited the top spot. There wasn't much in it, but with another couple of fastest times, the former WRC3 champion managed to keep his nose in front and held on for a second ERC win of the season alongside co-driver Mark Marty. Solanz's final winning margin was 11.2 seconds with Lorena and Bonato amazingly finishing on an identical time with Enrique Cruz claiming fourth. In the Drivers' Championship, Lorena has taken the lead, the Spaniard five points ahead of Solanz, with Arojo slipping to third.